Lifting the bow of the sunken Sewol ferry is no easy task. Having started on Sunday, the retrieval mission is already on hold. Unexpected swells in the sea, hampering efforts to lift the 6,825-ton passenger ferry. The government hopes to have the vessel out of the water by August. For the last two years, the ferry has been lying some 40 meters below sea level. The Sewol capsized off the southwestern coast of South Korea, carrying more than 400 passengers, many of who were high school students on a trip to the resort island of Jeju. Less than 100 survived, and nine bodies are still missing. Many, including the victims' families, who are still mourning and demanding answers here in central Seoul. Hope those nine missing will be in the bow of the ferry, a part that was difficult for the divers to get to during the recovery stage. We have up to three layers of safety installations in place to prevent bodies from drifting away during the salvage operation. We are working with the hope that all nine bodies will be found. A combination of reasons led to the sinking of this hewar. The ship was redesigned illegally, it was overloaded with cargo, and the crew lacked experience. All of which wasn't helped by lax government regulations. The excavation project is costing more than $18 million, but the answers it could provide to families left behind are priceless. Eugene Jung for CCTV Seoul.